problem is when you try to take that one size fits all approach into the typical patient who comes to CHR, who may or may not produce um, more than two, three, or four embryos. Um, and uh, uh, so the first problem is that most of the patients we have at, at CHR who have very few embryos may never have an embryo that gets to a stage that where it even, even could be biopsied. Then uh, when you biopsy it, Remember, you're not testing the cells that are going to be the baby, you're testing the cells that are going to be the placenta. Well, placenta is known to be the repository of all the odd cells that pop up in the pregnancy so that they actually get segregated. The normal ones end up being the baby and the abnormal ones are kind of being pushed out into the trophectoderm. In fact, uh, placental cells many times have more than one nucleus. And so, by definition, we'll have bizarre um, karyotypes if you're, if you're looking at their chromosomes. Uh, the other thing is, you can think of the uh, trophectoderm um, as um, being um, more like a quilt than like a mosaic. Um, so that certain patches of the trophectoderm are probably descended from a particular cell. So, if you even though you're 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 testing four or five cells, they're probably all daughter cells of the same progenitor, and so there may be other cells that are normal that you're not testing, more like a patch in the mosaic. But the technical term for an embryo that has more than one um, set of genes is a mosaic. So um, what that means is that the cells that you test may not reflect the genetic health of the inner cell match, mass, which is going to be the baby. Now, many times they will. The centers that have been doing these studies have shown that when they have a normal result, they're very likely to end up with a normal baby. Um, however, the rub comes when you get an abnormal result, because the abnormal result may not reflect um, what's true of the baby. In fact, uh, one of these centers has recently um, published data which they looked carefully at the embryos that they had deemed to be abnormal, and they found that 23% of the time um, repeat biopsies didn't show the same result as the original abnormal biopsy. So this is that sort of mosaic state. and. Uh, what happens over time is that the normal cells have a tendency to, to take over and, um, and, and to prevail. It's very rare that the abnormal cells uh, will grow out and actually become an ongoing pregnancy. Um, so uh, the net effect is that when you're dealing with a group of patients who are very likely to have some degree of genetic abnormalities, um, where those genetic abnormalities are segregated uh, into the area that's going to be biopsied, um, what you end up with is a large number of people who start cycles and never have transfers. A large number, in fact, I think they've shown that um, uh, 60 to 80 percent of patients in, that, in, that, in the age group that we usually take care of um, we'll never get to transfer.